Tom again with some interesting information. So today we're working on a toilet flapper. I just put a new toilet in and it didn't flush long enough. Usually your flush duration is dependent on how long the flapper stays open and before it snaps shut. Now Fluid Master, this is the Fluid Master 540 by the way, um, they usually make an adjustment. Now this one's got an adjustment down here and there's been a lot of stuff on the internet. <laughs> People don't show what the trick is behind this and they've made it very difficult to do. I had to study this for 10-15 minutes plus a trip to the internet. So what I'm going to do is first off show you that these are the, the, the there's a little mark on here if you ever get missed uh, messed up that indexes into the marks on the outside here. So don't worry about getting the clocking of it wrong once you get it apart and you forget where you were. Now the trick is right in here there's a little teeny plastic thing on that side and one over here on this side that stop this lid from coming out of here so you cannot rotate it. So the trick is, and it's not easy, first time I did it with a utility knife, is to get those little detents pushed in. So what I do is I push pretty hard right above the detent just to get it underneath this first red little mark here. Something like that right there. Now I'm going to try and keep that in that position while I flip it around to the other side. Right here there's a little detent. We'll go ahead and get that one out of there not easy. Keep trying here. They did not make it easy. So once you get them out, it comes out like this. Now let's take a closer look at those. You can just, maybe against my coat, you can see the bump right here. It's flat and then wedge shaped. That's what stops it from coming out this way. So you've got to get that below the ring that's going through this slot right there and right here on right here also and then here is the little dent on the outside that indexes on your stop there so when you put it back together you want to put it in whichever slot you want they came from the factory at a one uh, it's way too short so i want to make a 10. so i'm going to go ahead and start to slip this back in it doesn't do anything until you actually snap it down in there i'm going to put this up to 10. here's my little indexing mark Right there, you can see it on the top. Put it in the 10 slot and just snap it in like this. Boop. There we go. So it snaps in. That's how you do it. You get good at it, you should be able to snap that in and out once you find the little marks. Here it is here. And here's one here. You should be able to squeeze those fairly quickly. Snap that thing out of there. They've made it really, really difficult just to adjust this flapper, probably for good reason. Anyway, that's my lesson today. I'm actually putting two toilets in today because they're both pretty old. This happened to be a, uh, what are these? American Standards. So I wanted to show you how to get the valve out of there, what it looks like before you even get started. So here you've got your flapper down in there. You can see that? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and take the hook off the flush lever. That just snaps off. This down here, all you got to do is just lift up a little bit on the, on the little red piece kind of pry it off those little black rings down in there. See how it's kind of half fallen off there? They just kind of snap off of there, pull straight up. Got a little hook on them like that. This is a brand new one, so we'll see how difficult it is to pop that off. So here I just took it out of the toilet. I don't know if you can see it. It's set on one. Don't like that. Want that? See what it does is it opens up drain holes in here so water will come out quicker. You close the air off, the water comes out of this thing slower and so it lets it stay up in the air longer. So what we'll do is uh, pop this out of here, see if I can do it quicker this time. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing. I've got one side, you can see it's already kind of already started there. Got the other side over here.
There we go. It's out. Look at my little tang. Look at my number 10. Line it up. Snap it back in. That's it. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.